it's been quite a while since my last video. I would say I just got completely sweet up, swept up. Good start, Emily. I would say I just got completely swept up in like just business really. You know, this kind of run up to summertime tends to be very busy for online coaching. And yeah, I've just been prioritizing taking on a lot more clients whilst making sure that I'm still delivering the same level of service to existing clients. And um, I've just been sort of really basically altering my routine to fit in the amount of new clients I've taken on so that it all just still runs really smoothly and that did not allow time for any YouTube videos. Um, but I'm back. I, um, I've got a nice little weekend planned this weekend. So it's Saturday the 11th of June. And yeah, today I'm off to Ultraflex Normanton to meet with one of my newer clients. She's been with me for about five weeks now, uh, but she trains out of Normanton. So um, I've said I'll go and see her, check up on how she's doing, how she's actually performing in the gym. You know, obviously I've seen a lot of form videos from her, but it's always nice to see people in person and just give them a push and let them know kind of really what's expected in, like, intensity wise and, and how they can be pushing and progressing their training. So whenever I have a chance to meet in, a client in person, I will. You've probably seen that already from previous videos. But yeah, I am just um, preparing some post-workout food because I want to have something to immediately eat after the session. I usually like... I'll get a bagel, I'll toast it, um, and then I'll just kind of like weigh out my jam on top. So I have like 10 grams on one half of the bagel, and then I'll have like 10 grams of biscuit on the other half. So that's just, it's, I think sometimes people are like confused on like how to weigh out jam on the bagel, but we all have our methods guys. This is mine. So that's the bagel prepped and I've also got a squares bar and then I've got um, a pre-made pasta meal in the fridge, like pasta and chicken, but I will have that when I get home. I'd rather eat it warm if I can. Normanton's obviously not that far from where I live. It just, you know, it's far enough that I want to have something with me snack-wise to eat immediately. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today and um, I'll update you later in the video kind of like what I've been up to, how the off-season's going. Um, yeah, because there's been a few changes, but I'll see you in a bit. Uh, 
no idea why my hair decided to like explode today um but yes it's the next day now it's sunday the 12th of june so yesterday was um a lovely day it was very very nice to meet leonie um and as i would with any of my new clients is just to like basically show them that they can actually work harder than they've been working harder on their own you know so she set a lot of pbs we basically went through her session so we split half her back session and half her leg session to be fair because that's what i would do on a saturday so i told her earlier in the week to kind of um do that and like do do one of her like leg sessions in half with and then split it with her pull session um yeah because she's like newer to training i've kind of got her on more of like a lower upper type of split she's doing like lower um push pull um but you know obviously the scope uh, in the future to like sort of switch things up with her training but for now that's what she's doing um so yeah this week she's kind of had a taste of what it's like to kind of split your training up into like you know doing kind of like back and legs in one session or just kind of basically just doing two different body parts in one session and that that style of training which is what i'm on at the moment so i um, have just started a new meso obviously before i was doing um something similar but yeah um now it's kind of like we've still got legs on a monday and then we're running like a kind of glutes and arms session on a wednesday i've also put in um, a shoulder press into that day as well i thought i would start pressing again i've been using support max joint from strom and yeah it's done done what i wanted it to do because a few months ago when i was um shoulder pressing I just had to like literally stop. My elbows were hurting way more than my shoulders. So um, yeah, I was having a, quite a few joint issues. Yeah, so since I've been supplementing that, it's, um, yeah, it's come on tenfold. So I used the same shoulder press machine that I had been using. So I went, popped back on the Atlantis shoulder press. Um, and yeah, it was absolutely great. I, I pushed heavier weight and um, there was no joint issues whatsoever. So yeah, I would highly recommend that uh, brand and that supplement so yeah impact does a uh, strong products and they are to be honest the best so yeah there we go um speaking of impact i am off to meet the owner paul right i'm gonna set off soon I never met him before which is kind of cool so I've, obviously i've been sponsored by impact now for nine months and um, never actually met paul um, we're going to meet and just kind of like go over how we are going to approach the, the stand at the Fit Expo, which is in three weeks now, just under. Well, like three weeks today, we'll, we'll be there. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty exciting, but we want to kind of run over how, how we're going to run our stand and stuff. I've got a few ideas. And I'll run past him as well and see what he thinks. But, but yeah, another day, another Fit Expo t-shirt. Um, Monday now, I um, have just trained legs. You'll have seen a little bit of the footage of the leg press I did today. Um, that was like the first time that me and Louise did that leg session together because last week I was at Rotherham on Monday with Jade, um, my client Jade, you'll have seen her in previous videos. She is stepping on stage in September, looking absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, I'm about to make my bagel now, so getting in some training day carbs. So like in terms of any updates, um, probably since my last video, I mean, I just kept, I kept gaining weight to be fair, like gained about like just over a stone since like we, we did a push-up in February um so we pulled calories a little bit just to kind of settle my weight um so yeah I can't really eat that much I'm only five foot so uh rest day cows are around 2100 training day 2300 so that's kind of what I'm on today but I'm still on like 320 carb which is a decent amount really um so yeah I've had like cream of rice in the morning <clears throat> and I also had like a pasta meal before I went to the gym then I've come back and had like my cereal. So now I'm just gonna have a bagel because it's like 4 p.m. and I wanna get some more more food in. <clears throat> Sometimes I make the mistake of like waiting towards the end of the day because I'm busy in the afternoon and stuff. And then before I know it, I've run out of time and I've got loads of food to cram in till the end of the day. So yeah, having that bagel now. Um, but yeah, just this was just a, an update video really. I sort of mean to keep this YouTube going really. Um, and not slack too much. I will obviously be kind of vlogging through the Fit Expo, which is now like two weeks on Friday, so it's not that long away. So likelihood of that being my next video is quite high. Um, but yeah, where I'm at at the moment, um, that's pretty much it really. There's nothing more exciting to update you on in terms of like the off season and how it's going. It's literally just do the do. But yeah, new, a new Miso in is obviously quite fun. And yeah, sorted everything out with um, Paul yesterday. So we've got some good ideas for like a kind of giveaway that we're going to do at the expo. Um, and just kind of we were just going over how 
that we will lay out the stand. But yeah, it was nice to see him. Yeah, obviously I think people sometimes wonder like how do you actually become a sponsored athlete? So I just think I'll end this video by giving you my kind of oversight on that. So obviously I would say there's some pillars to it. And I feel like this is what Paul was kind of looking for, um, was like just being active on social media for like a consistent period of time. Like I think sometimes people forget that like I've been like smashing out content since like I started my fitness Instagram in like the beginning of 2018. So like I've been smashing out content for like over three years before I got like approached by any companies. And I feel like the reason I got approached last year was because of the competing, like obviously a lot of supplement brands, they're going to want to look towards um, competitive athletes, you know, people that are going to be kind of going forward within the sport of bodybuilding. And it, then it's kind of like, well, you're obviously going to be consistently using a, a wide variety of their products. Um, you know, obviously I use more than just kind of like your whey protein and your creatine and stuff like the, this, you know, I'm using a lot more kind of things to like health support supplements, obviously with kind of how intensely I'm pushing bodybuilding, I kind of do need more supplements than, than like kind of, um, your average gym goer, let's say. So, you know, people that are kind of, um, excelling in bodybuilding, probably people as well that like have the potential to do well in bodybuilding. That's kind of one of the things that Paul like was asking me, like, so basically what happened is he kind of dropped me a message like midway through my season um, after I'd kind of done well at my first couple of shows and was just kind of like, you know, what are your intentions with bodybuilding? Like, um, you know, I'm looking for someone who like obviously wants to do well and like win shows and go far with it and stuff. Um, obviously, I told him about my plans and things and it's like, you know, I have obviously like, I'm, well, I'm planning on having longevity within this sport and I'm planning on going like far within it. Like, you know, this to me, like last year's season was just the beginning of what I hope will be. A very decent career in bodybuilding and kind of really pushing to the top you know um as like another update i suppose i should say for you guys like um you know like i think on the cards for me is uh, i am looking at the ifbb <clears throat> pro card <clears throat> ifbb pro card i am looking at that you know of course like i'm not just going into ifbb just thinking i'm going to just do bits like i am always looking to kind of win my shows when i enter them um kind of got like a a lineup of shows for like the back end of next year really um i basically asked uh, tom the other week like you know what is the sort of like trajectory for me when will i be stepping on stage again um, and i am delighted that he said it will be next year so i am looking to kind of do a like an, a regional ifbb show like as my first show like kind of september time um and then we'll look to the arnold's which will be awesome so I'm going to the Arnold's in uh, this this year in September um, and it'll just be meant to see the figure girls on stage and like how how sick they look, how big they look and be like, shit, that's going to be me like this time next year. But um, yeah, to know that he believes in my potential in that way that I can actually go for it next year, actually be going to like big shows in the Arnold's. And then he's basically said like, we'll go to some like qualifiers abroad afterwards if you're up for it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm up for that. Um, so yeah. I guess that's another exciting update. Like I am, I will be competing next year. There will be a prep series next year. T minus like 12 months and I'll certainly be like in my prep, um, which is brilliant. So it'll be a big year next year for, for like competitions and stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, um, that's kind of what Paul was looking for as well. Like how far are you taking bodybuilding? That's kind of it really. And he just asked me about my followers and kind of like the engagement I get and things like this. And because it's, it's all very well having a lot of followers, but are you actually getting like, a good amount of like comments on your pictures and things like this are you getting like people in your dms and stuff and um, um and i think obviously over the past nine months he's seen that i've brought him a lot of business and a lot of people using my code which i'm forever grateful for i think more people than i even realize sometimes i find out that someone's been using my code for like months and i'm like oh thanks like that's awesome you know um i feel like people don't tag me really that much and then when they do i'm like oh no idea that you were using my code but brilliant and then obviously I'm always like directing my clients, you know, like obviously the, the products are sick. So uh, they pretty much stock, well, they do like stock any brand that I would recommend. So it's kind of like, I'm always going to point people in that direction. So yeah, these are all the things that I guess um, companies look for. Like, are you going to bring them a lot of business? So like, do you have a lot of good engagement on social media um, and a good online profile? Are you very active on social media? So that you're going to be constantly talking about the brand um, and, you know, pushing people towards it. 
um, and like kind of this might not be for every supplement company but I think on the on the whole they're looking for like you know your potential as a bodybuilder um, and like where you're gonna go so it's not like you're just gonna like decide to stop training one day or something and just stop using the products it's like you know you're probably gonna go quite far uh, and obviously among that you know you're gonna kind of keep building quite a name for yourself you know um, obviously for me it's like depending on how well I do next year will kind of elevate my profile more so not that that's why I'm doing it but I'm just saying like as a byproduct of me doing well which is basically what happened last year as well um you know because I kind of did quite well um in my shows and stuff like I kind of raised my profile in that sense I got quite a lot of um more following on social media and stuff like this so yeah hopefully that's helpful for you guys I hope that makes sense so obviously if you've got any questions um about it then feel free to ask but yeah these are just kind of my insights onto kind of like how I actually ended up getting sponsored and just kind of like what what is like you know sometimes I think people think they're going to get sponsored and stuff like this and it's like are you doing all these things and if so then yes maybe um but yeah hopefully that was somewhat interesting anyway I, I thought it might be and yeah any questions and stuff just drop them below um any videos you want me to do as well any p p like particular updates and stuff um, obviously, like I said, sometimes I'm, I'm a little bit stuck. I'm like, do you guys actually enjoy watching my training and stuff? I, I try not to actually put too much in because I, I don't know if people actually want to see that. Yeah, but like if there's anything, you know, I don't know, like full days of eating or because, you know, I'm tracking my macros at the moment. So I don't know if that's interesting. Um, otherwise, you know, I've got like, like say stuff like the Fit Expo and like clients doing shows later in the year and stuff like this, which will be obvious videos. Um, and then the less obvious ones, I'm like, we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see how much time I get we'll see if I can get any inspiration to kind of put together some kind of vaguely interesting video because I'm not just going to put videos out for the sake of it basically um but yeah like I said I'm always open to suggestions I welcome them with open arms otherwise I'm probably less likely to do videos so just drop them for me and I will um but yeah until next time guys thank you so much for watching and keeping up to date and um you know links below for kind of like impact and you know for coaching inquiries as well i'm happily taking on new clients um and yes i will see you in the next one so ciao for now